What's going on, Guap Chasers? I'm back with another video. And in this video, as you can see from the title and thumbnail, we're gonna be talking about the best aim assist script that you can use for Modern Warfare 2 at the moment. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and turn on that post notification bell icon so you don't miss any new uploads to this channel. And also smash that like button. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get into the settings or anything, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the script that I'm using in this video, which is the Taylor Drift Outcast. You can find the download link in the description below. It's the Media Fire link, and it will take you directly to the scripts that I've used from the past, the present, and the future. This script specifically will have a name like Outcast so you don't get misguided or nothing like that while you're looking through all the scripts. So let's get into the settings. In order for these settings to work, go into your controller settings right now and change your aim assist type to Black Ops. Shout out to Jay for putting me on game with this because I always ran standard. I seen Black Ops, but I thought like, you know what I'm saying, it would be a feeling of the past. You know, we always trying to go further in the future. You know what I'm saying? But change it to Black Ops right now and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so on to the mod menu. Go into the aim assist tab and you're gonna see Taylor aim assist. Make sure you turn it on. Then press A and you're gonna see shape. The shape that I always run is circle. You can run any shape that you want, whichever you prefer, but me personally, I run circle. Press right on the D-pad, you're gonna see radius. I had that at a 13, go over again, you're gonna see speed, and I had that at a 25. Let's keep going over, you're gonna see spiral. I got that off. Boost on fire, I have that off as well. Hold on real quick, a real small pause for the call. Bro, you just stress, bro. Keep going, you're gonna see tracking. Earn tracking on. The tracking size that I was running was at a five. The tracking speed was at a nine. And that's basically it for Taylor aim assist. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the new rotational aim assist, which is that C word. I don't know how to pronounce the name, as you guys heard from my last video, but I just know it's the new shit. You know what I'm saying? So I got mine on left stick only. You can change it to both, but me personally, I would like mine to activate when I'm aiming down sights. You know what I'm saying? So press A, open that menu. You're gonna see the rotational side. Change that to 20, and then press right on the D-pad, you're gonna see the rotational speed. I had that at a 10. And if you press right again, you're gonna see boost on fire, and I have that off. And that's basically it for my settings at the moment. And I say at the moment because for each gun, it's always gonna be something different you don't wanna try. So I don't never wanna stay the same as far as the settings go. That goes with anything, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I change it up all the time and I give y'all my updated settings in each video, you know what I'm saying? And that's basically it for this video. I see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that post notification bell icon so you don't miss any new uploads. And also smash that like button for me and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh, fuck me, there are. We took a loss Easy. there. Let's not repeat it. Visual on the enemy. Base plate to Sabre 1. Secure all prisoners and get them to the extract point. Have your back. I am with enemy in the air. Enemy counter UAV is active. Yeah, we did him! Mission failed. Return to base.